Paula, I'm glad to get the opportunity. And, Minister, I have to say to you, you got these polls back when there was an exceptional need. Uh, and we, all, we, we accepted that there was a need at that time. We extended them uh, in the middle of the summer. And I was against that at that time. And it looked like that this was the one and only extension. So here we are again, bare face today, looking for another extension. And what I can tell you, I'm not voting for it because there's no exceptional need now and, and, and there's no um, emergency uh, at, at the present time in that regard, to, to create that uh, need. But I'll tell you, Minister, where there is an emergency. There's an emergency in Kerry where there's over 2,200 people waiting for electric, elective surgery. There's many more who won't be accepted onto that list because consultants have written out to GPs uh, telling them to send in no more patients. And I'm appealing to the, very, the man from Kerry, that, deputy from Kerry, that has a very powerful position in this government. He's the whip. And instead of talk, I'd ask him to talk to you about the problem that's in Kerry. Rather than going, going on the Kerry radio, telling the people of Kerry what they already know. People that are suffering in pain, people that are suffering agony in the garden and need to get uh, the, their bits of surgery and to get uh, seen by the consultants and need to get operated in. Not telling the people what they already know. Thank you, Deputy. Minister, I'm asking you to talk with Deputy Griffin, who's the whip of the government. To, to, and uh, put some scheme in together to help the people that are waiting for far too much, long. Deputy, That's what I'm asking you to do. De Deputy, just, just for clarification, he, he is talking to me, as is, as is uh, Minister Foley. You will not be thank, 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 wait, wait, no, no, yeah. no, no, Consultants no, no, wouldn't no, have no, written no, to no, all of us yeah. last week Deputy, telling us that they were coming together for the first Deputy, time, telling us yourself. that they were afraid that the situation in our hospital in Kerry is in dire straits at present. You,